Oh, why, hello, everyone. Fancy seeing you here. This wasn't premeditated or pre-planned at all. Hi. Alrighty, well, hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Caleb's Vlogs. So glad to see ya. I know you're probably wondering why I'm dressed fancily. Um, the answer for that is, uh, well, I bought this outfit... Uh, for my birthday, bought it for myself. My birthday is going to be up in a little over a week, and uh, well, we got quite a celebration planned, and I plan on filming it, so that'll be a blast. But, um, yeah, this is the outfit I'm I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna be turning 20 years old. It's like it's like two decades. That's ugh. That's that's forever. So before I begin, let's go ahead and go over my little segment, Definitions with Caleb. Alright, so this day's word of the day is mom look. <clears throat> the look you get when your boyfriend or girlfriend introduces you to their mom, and you see the look of disapproval in their eyes. I think my mom really likes you. Uh, no. She totally gave me the mom look. I feel so ashamed. Probably looks something like this. You wanna date my daughter, boy? You wanna date my daughter, boy? Hmm? Do you? Do you? Where's that wedding band, boy? Where's that wedding band, boy? But that was today's word, mom look. Alright, so guys, um, as you've probably seen, uh, we've already gone ahead and posted the first episode of Master Debaters. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, we're going to be trying to post another one this Saturday. Um, we actually didn't get to filming it this weekend, because we were planning on doing a week ahead. We actually didn't get to that, so... We'll probably just do the filming Saturday and then see about just posting it that day as well. Kind of like what I do with, with these episodes. So on those episodes, you're more than welcome, you guys, are more than welcome to comment, a suggestion, a topic that we should talk about. And me and Andre will go ahead and write it down and cut it out and put it in the bottle of suggestions of topics. So that should be cool. Now, uh... Also, <clears throat> as I said, my birthday is going to be coming up really soon. I'm excited for it. I'm going to be 20 years old. It's not the big 21, you know, but it's still important, I'd say. I'm going to be two decades old. It's like, cut me in half, and each half could be a Pokemon trainer still. Ten years old. Ten, ten. So there's, there's some festivities me and Andre have planned, and we're going to be filming it, and I'm going to go ahead, and it's going to be probably the episode after this one. No, I mean the episode after next episode. So, um, so yeah, it'll probably be posted on September 10th, uh, so two, two weeks from now. So I don't, I don't really have a story for you guys today, unfortunately. Um, uh, let me think. Let me think of one. Just a second here. So, okay, I got one. Um, so, recently you, uh, you saw my Trip Out to Ohio episode, and that, um, in that episode, or during that time frame, rather, you probably, you probably saw Alexia, Alexia Bean, towards the end of the, of the episode, she was this girl that I was hanging out with. She was, um... We were, we were seeing each other temporarily. In that, in that little time frame. And... She and I have had a long history. Like, I've known her for about four years now. And... She, uh... When I went out there, she, uh, <clears throat> we hadn't talked for a while, but I was in, of course, Ohio, 
And she started talking to me again because she knew I was nearby. And she, um, she has a long, complicated past. But she was flirting with me and stuff. You know, I'm Caleb. Look at me. Look at my fancy outfit. How can how can any lady resist this blonde beauty? But she was flirting with me and stuff, and um, I went over to her house, and what had happened was she told me that all of her family was gone. And her family, just FYI, does not like me. She told me that all of her family was gone. They went camping in another state. So, there was only one family member left. Her brother, who is like the spawn of Satan. I went to school with him. He's my age. And he's a huge, just, jerk. And I went over to her house. Everyone was gone. Her brother was on a date, she told me. She told me that he was giving us alone time. Now, like I said, he's a jerk. So I didn't really, I didn't, I was like, okay, uh, that, is, that sounds really out of character, but I've been gone from Ohio for over a year. Maybe he's better. So she and I were hanging out at her house for a while. We're watching a movie, and he comes back way sooner than expected. And he walks in the door, and he sees me, and he's like, what is he doing here? Now, I was aware that he didn't like me, but I didn't know that, and I, and I knew that her story was a little fishy, but I didn't know that he didn't know I was here whatsoever. So I'm just like, oh snap, I'm in a really uncomfortable situation right now. He's the spawn of Satan. She's lying to me. I'm in this house that's not mine, it's his house. All the parents are gone. This is bad. So she, so he walks away, he's yelling at her. They both walk away. They're both yelling at each other. She's all like, oh, I'm 19 years old. I could do what I want. I'm an adult. And he's yelling and carrying on. And I'm just like, all right, he didn't know I was here. I'm going to go. So I left. Got in my car. She followed me out. She was like, all right, I'm going with you. It's like, okay, why not? Went to the restaurant. We went to Bob Evans. And we ate some, some good lunch. And towards uh, about a half hour later, um, her dad calls her, yelling at her. Because obviously the brother told her what told the dad what was going on yelling at her apparently the brother had lied so that she was sitting in my lap and stuff it wasn't a good scene well towards the end of the night i just go ahead and take her back home and i drop her off and everything's fine but she kept over the course of my stay at Ohio, kept trying to get me to come back over to her house. Like, oh, I'm swimming, you can come on over and we can have some fun. I'm like, no, no, Alexia, I'm not going over to your house, unsupervised. We can go hang out somewhere else, not your house. And that was my story, pretty much. That nothing, nothing crazy happened. I didn't get shot or anything. But I guess the moral of the story is, don't lie to the guy you're interested in and cause a really uncomfortable situation when you know that he hates pretty much everyone else in your family and pretty much everyone else in your family hates him. And it was here that my camera ended up dying. So I went ahead and talked for another five minutes without, uh, without knowing that my camera had died. But I was pretty much done anyway, so be sure to leave a like and comment, guys, and subscribe. It really helps out. It really 
you know, makes everything, makes my day a little bit brighter. And I really like reading you guys' comments. So, go ahead, do all that good stuff, and I will see you guys next week, and you guys stay awesome. Bye now.